Hello, welcome back to a weekend reading vlog. Um, this one is uh, a bit special to me because the book I'm going to read is from a series that got me into Kindle Unlimited and widened my reading uh, this year. Um, it is called The Devil Gets His Due by Elizabeth O'Rourke. Um, the publisher kindly sent me a copy um, to my Kindle. Uh, this comes out on December 1st, so we're only mm, like two weeks away from its release. Um, this is about Graham and Keeley. Uh, they are kind of like an enemies to lovers situation. They go to Vegas, they get drunk, they get married because who knows why. And Keeley um, wakes up the next morning and is... I think ashamed of her decisions and tries to scurry away and then finds out that she's pregnant. Uh, secret baby is not really one of my favorite uh, tropes um, or like your relationship comes together around a baby. Um, Cause I don't think this is a secret because she ends up staying with Graham um, like throughout the pregnancy. Um, and he never planned to have kids and he certainly wasn't planning to have one with Keely because again, enemies to lover situation. Um, there we go, focus. So um, Graham was never planning to have kids, especially not with Keely, because like I said, enemies to lover situation. Um, they are foes more than they are friends at this point. Um, but he also seems to be, you know, just that kind of honorable gentleman. And um, clearly there was some kind of attraction there because they slept together. So I'm interested to see where this one goes. Um, even though this isn't one of my favorite tropes, it is from one of my favorite authors. I love Elizabeth O'Rourke's work. Um, that was such a hard sentence to say. Elizabeth O'Rourke's work. <laughs> um, have really enjoyed her previous work. Um, I think I gave all three of the books prior to this five stars. I'm pretty sure. Um, the ones that were before this were, I think, The Devil You Know, um, A Deal with the Devil, and Devil in the Deep Sea or Deep Blue Sea. Um, I'll put the, uh, you know, pictures of them up at the top here so you can see what each cover looks like. Um, in true romance fashion, I don't think you have to read these in a, any particular order, um, but I think um, it, it's nice when you do, just because obviously with the first one, you're introduced to the first main couple, but then also their friend group, um, people they know, which then obviously carries on into books two, three, and, I, and now four. Um, so if you are a Kindle Unlimited user, all of them are on there right now, and then this one, The Devil uh, Gets His Due, comes out on December 1st. So let's get reading. Hello, I'm officially on chapter 23 of The Devil Gets His Due. Um, it took me longer to, like, feel committed to this one than I normally do with Elizabeth O'Rourke's work. Um, I think it's because Keely and Graham have so much, like, animosity towards each other. But then Graham's doing that thing that you see sometimes in Enemies to Lovers where the hero is already soft in the heroine, but he doesn't want to say anything. But then you get these little glimpses as the reader that he clearly feels that way. Um, and it just didn't match. But now, I don't know, things are starting to happen. So, Keely's pregnant. He's moved in with her at this point, and um, which is not a, a, a spoiler, I should say, that's in the synopsis. Um, and they're, you know, trying to get along and do whatever, and she is just dealing with a lot of feelings around... Um, she's like a family history, and um, that's concerning for her. Um, she still believes that she hates this man, uh, which is, I don't know. I'm like, you slept with him twice, so like, hold your horses, girl. Clearly you don't hate him. But, you know, that has to go on because it's a romance. Um, and they're just trying to fit into each other's lives right now. Um, she comes off as very, like, frivolous and immature but we're starting to learn like the reasons behind her behavior because also she's a doctor so clearly there has to be some work ethic there and some uh some maturity somewhere because you have to get into medical school and survive it so um, i'm interested to see how elizabeth o'rourke continues to develop Ke keely's character because so far 
the plot, not the plot development, the character development for her is meh. And then for Graham, I mean, we just don't ever expect very much from our heroes, honestly, but I like him. Um, I'm interested to see how this changes. Um, Keely lives near his mom and brother, um, and his sister-in-law, Gemma, is Keely's best friend. So I'm interested to see more side character interaction there as well. I'm not sure how much of that we'll get, but I think that it will help from the character development side because there's nothing like being near the hero's family that lets you know all the things that he's never going to tell you about himself. Um, and then that also tends to unearth things for the heroine too. So um, I'm enjoying so far 39% in. It says I only have two hours and 51 minutes left of this book. So um, I probably will finish it today. Um, I've had football on in the background, and it's been like a nice kind of quiet afternoon um, in the house, which I desperately needed. This last week was absolutely awful. Um, my dog Frankie got attacked by another dog, and so it's been a lot of us resting and me trying to like ice. She's got bruises from where she was bit. It's very sad. She's okay, by the way. I'm, I should have started that. She's fine. She's just a little tender. And doesn't understand why she needs to be still. So um, this has been the nicest way to recuperate from a terrible week. So uh, I'm going to keep reading. And then I'll probably do one more update before I finish it. Probably around like the 60 to 70% mark. And then we'll go from there. Happy Sunday. Um, welcome to the end of this vlog. I know I said I was going to update y'all last night, um, but I just blitzed through the end of that book. I finished it just now. Um, I loved it. It was so good. Oh my goodness. I can't wait for this to be out for all of y'all to read. Um, I, where do I even begin? I love the way Keely and Graham's relationship came together. Um, let me start this. I gave it four stars. Let's start there. Gave it four stars. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, it flowed so well. Um, I literally spent all day yesterday reading for the most part. Uh, most of the afternoon. Um, took some breaks to like watch college football. But um, like literally finished would have finished it last night had I continued reading. But I got sleepy. Um, their start was very chaotic, as you would expect from, you know, a weekend celebrating your friends being married and, you know, lots of alcohol and things. And so um, it was just, there was a lot of like, I don't remember when this happened. I don't remember when that happened. And I wish that those moments of like them learning those things about how their start, or I guess really it was just Keely because Graham remembered. I wish she remembered or got to know what happened sooner um, I think that might have helped with, um, a few things that happened in, like, conflict later, um, but the third act conflict in true Elizabeth fashion was very realistic to, you know, real life, um, they, um, as in the synopsis, they drunkenly get married in Vegas at the beginning of the book, and then Keely finds out that she's pregnant literally, like, 30 pages in, this is also in the synopsis, so not a spoiler, and so then she's just, you know, figuring out, like, what the heck do I do now? Like, where do I go from here? And Graham shows up and tries to support her best he can. Um, and at that point, they still act like they actively hate each other. Um, and so there's a lot to overcome to get from that to a happily ever after. It is romance after all. That's what's supposed to happen. Um, and it they definitely get there. Um, they both have a lot of um just trauma from their childhoods and then they both lost parents as kids and the after effects of that went 
very different directions for them. Um, so it's interesting to see, I guess, their own attempts at maturation following that. In some areas, like, Graham was able to let go of some of that trauma a little bit and manifest it more into responsibility as an adult. Whereas Keely, um, and not, like, that she didn't do that on her own, like, but she, a lot of her things happened out of spite. Um, and trying not to let people have high expectations of her. And so, it just chaos. Just lots of chaos can happen from that. But they eventually find their way. They eventually find their way. And it is just... It was heartwarming to watch that happen. Um, I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. I'm trying to share without spoiling. Because the book's not even out yet. It comes out December 1st, by the way. Going to be on Kindle Unlimited. So if you're a Kindle Unlimited user, you know, on December 1st, which I think is a Thursday, pop on there. Get that for yourself. Um, If you're not a Kindle Unlimited user, you can pre-order it right now on Amazon. I think it's $5. I don't know why I said that. I don't know what the price of this book is. I guess I could look it up. Amazon. Yes, you can pre-order it for $5. Okay. So you could do that um, as well. Um, Like I said in the beginning, normally I am not one for surprise baby, you know, not uh, not that I don't... uh, I was going to say unplanned pregnancy, but, like, that happens in a lot of romances. But where it's, like, the whole center of the book, um, normally I don't enjoy those. Mostly just because people don't do it well. They try, but it just often isn't done well. Um, But in true Elizabeth Warwick fashion, it is done very, very well. Very realistic. Um, And honestly, I just can't wait for all of y'all to read it so we can chat about it. uh, Because it was so good. It was so, so good. Um, I think I'm going to try to do some more videos like this where I read and review Kindle Unlimited books um, because I love them and I read them all the time and I almost never vlog about them. And I don't know why I don't. But yeah, this was a really good time. Great way to spend a very cold weekend in Texas, sitting curled up on the couch, my dog reading this. Um, Oh, I also will say, if you're the kind of person who doesn't enjoy a lot of sweat in your romances, this is a good one. There was only... Despite the fact they have sex in the very beginning of the book, it is... I wouldn't even call it closed door. It's, it's one of like you as the reader almost black out with them at one point. And then the next morning you wake up and there's a naked person next to you kind of moment. So, um, that happens. And then they don't have sex until like way later in the book. So there's not very, um, because I know that can happen with some Kindle Unlimited books and, and that's what some of them are for and that's fine. Um, but this one's just, that's just not the case for this one. It is very, um, present in their lives and dealing with other things, too many other things to be, you know, back to back smut. So, um, if that's what you're hoping for, apologies, you're in the wrong place. Um, but if you just want a good heartwarming story that has a little bit of that, this is your jam. This is your jam. Um, also if you're one of those people that doesn't enjoy slow burn, Give this a try to maybe change your mind a little bit because this um, didn't feel like the kind of slow burn that like is teasing the reader the whole time and making you like want to pull out your hair because you're like, oh my God, just sleep together. It instead felt, it felt like slow burn was the safe move. It felt like it was the right move. It felt um, intentional without being in your face, um, because I think sometimes slow burn can feel like, I have a secret and I can't tell you, and they, like, and it's like that moment over and over and over again until you're finally told, um, whereas with this, it just felt, um, it just felt right, it felt right, it felt balanced, maybe that's the right word, it felt very balanced, because you do get these moments where you can tell they're getting closer, and you can tell that the ties are changing a little bit, but it's not so far over that, you're no longer committed to the story. Um, just, wow, what a well-balanced book. Who knew? Who knew? So good. All right, well, with that um, being said, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.